just loving this color that I'm about to put on. This is LA Colors Color Craze um, under 2012 Crackle Polish. It's LA Color Craze Fuji Purple, LA Colors Clear Base Top Coat, and 2012 uh, Crackle Polish by Max Makeup Tremoya. First, you want to put two coats of the color craze Fuji purple. It looks red even in person. And the exact same colors as you see on the video is the exact way that it looks. Um, however, it is very purple. So I put two coats of that and now what I'm doing after it dries I am putting on the crackle polish. And with the crackle polish you want to apply it and sort of a kind of thick but not too thick um, because you want it to cover but it starts to dry rather quickly and if you don't have enough on the brush you'll have a little bit of a hard time trying to apply it and get full coverage over the whole nail. So I've sped up the video and I went ahead and I did both hands with the crackle polish. I don't particularly show, show it cracking uh, in the video um, but it works rather fast, and even though this polish only costed me about 250 US uh, at my local Walgreens, I have to say I don't think it cracks any differently than the more expensive crackle polishes, and I really enjoyed um, you know doing this tutorial with it. It's just a simple nail design, nothing really fancy. You can always go over the top later with either rhinestones or take a couple of the Art Deco nail polishes and make some fancy little lines or designs or stripes or crisscross hatch you know or even if you have some uh, stamping plates that you'd like to put a nice little stamping texture over the top but you do want to coat the uh, finished polish the crackle polish probably two or even three times with a nice clear top coat and here I'm doing that because otherwise once it dries it's very very matte finished it's very dry matte finished so without the clear coat polish it does not look as shiny as it looks now as I'm showing in the video so you see me put it on once and then I kinda go over it again I look at it and I feel it and I can feel the little ridges from the crackle polish it literally does make your fingernails feel a little bumpy on top and if you don't like that, like I don't, then you're going to want to put several more coats of clear polish on it. Get it nice, more evenly smooth on the top of your nails. Especially if you're going to go over the top with any kind of artistic design or rhinestones or anything like that. Especially if you're going to stamp on the top of it. So, pretty much I'm just going over it and over it again. This polish I'm using by LA Colors dries pretty quickly. And I'm just making sure that I get the tips of my nails because I don't want any chipping or cracking. And this will also help keep the design so it'll last longer. And pretty much that's it. I'm almost done putting the finishing touches of the clear polish on my nails. And I'm quite happy with it. I'll leave it alone and I'll clean up any excess that might have spilled over onto my cuticles later. And there you have it. And thanks for watching.